Okay, so in this example, we have to find the measure of the unknown angles in each quadrilateral. So in example A, which angle is unknown? How would I label the angle that's unknown? Someone read it to me. The missing angle is this angle, so we can read it ADC, good. Or we can even label it CDA. Remember we said that the letter in the middle is the angle that's indicated. Okay, so what shape is this? It has four sides. Are all the sides even? Equal in length? No, it doesn't indicate that. A polygon with four sides, what is the sum of the angles? Sum of angles in a quadrilateral. What is it, Phil? Pardon? 360. And if you forget, what is the <laughs> formula for calculating sum of the interior angles in any polygon? Yes. Times. times um, N minus two. What does N stand for? Um, N stand for number of sides. Good. And S, I just wrote for short, is the sum of interior. This is not true for exterior. Know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to, plus angle D has to add up to 360. So someone give me an equation that would show how you can solve for X. Yeah, you're trying to isolate X, yes. Okay, X equals 360, yeah. Good. 56. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, what's the sum of the three angles given? Okay, so 360 minus 249. So what is angle X equal to? 111 degrees. Is that what everyone got? Okay, and if you check, add the four of them up, it should add up to 360. Okay, let's look at the next one then. We need to know the measure of all the unknown angles. Shh. Okay, so in this example, I have 50 degrees, which is an exterior, ang exterior angle. I have 88 degrees, which is an exterior angle. And I have another exterior, exterior angle. Okay, so we know three out of the four exterior angles. So can we find the fourth exterior angle? What should all the exterior angles add up to? 360. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing as what we did in the first question. Y is equal to 360 minus the sum of the three angles that we have. So what is Y equal to? Y is equal to 117 degrees. So this angle here is 117 degrees. Now we have um, straight lines, right? And we have two angles. We have an exterior and an interior that are formed on a straight line, so all of these should add up to what? What should all of these angles add up to? Oops, sorry, that's not what I, I didn't mean to do that here. Here we have a straight line. Sorry, right here is another straight line, so this angle and this angle add up to what? Supplementary angles add up to? 180. Ah! We have angle F. What is angle F equal to? If the angle next to that is 105 and they're supplementary, 105 plus what? It gives me 80. 75 degrees. Angle E right here. What plus 50 gives me 180? 130. Good. Angle H. What plus 88? So 180 minus 88 is what? 92 degrees, good. And then our last one here, this was 117, that's what we calculated. 180 minus 117 will give me angle G. What is 180 minus 117? Thank you. 63. Okay, these represent the four interior angles in the quadrilateral. If I were to add all of these up, what should they add up to if they're inside the quadrilateral? Good. 360. Can you guys add these up and tell me, does it equal 360? It does? Okay. And it works, so we've solved, we found the measures of all the unknown angles.